yeah so in my malaria test video some of you had questions that really got me thinking someone basically said why does my malaria test at the pharmacy says i'm free but a malaria test at the hospital says surprise you have malaria then another also asks where exactly do we put the blood and the buffer or we can just freestyle it well today i'm here to clear up all your confusion but remember it's one test trip at a time let's get into it okay guys so to our first question why does my malaria test at the pharmacy give a false negative result there are a few reasons why this can be so one it can be as a result of a low parasite count when the malaria parasite in your blood is very low it sometimes becomes very difficult for the test kit to detect it but in the hospital there is something we call the blood form microscopy which is able to detect even the tiniest amount of malaria parasites that will be in your blood again what can lead to a false positive result is when the testing procedure is not properly done when the blood or buffer is not correctly placed on the test kit or the test is not properly done it can lead to false negative results speaking of which i'll be showing you where exactly to put the blood and the buffer in the process of doing your malaria test so what's our takeaway from this if your malaria test is giving you negative but you are still showing symptoms of malaria it's always best to do a confirmatory test at the hospital now to our question number two where do we put the blood and where do we put the buffer now this is a very important question and i'll need you to understand that there are different brands of malaria test kits on the market and each of them comes with its own designated area where we put the blood and the buffer so usually it works like this this is the test kit we use let me zoom this in now when you look at our test kit you realize we have two small wells down here one labeled with an s and the other a b so the s up here stands for sample exactly where we put our blood sample and the b stands for buffer where the buffer for the test is kept i'll be demonstrating that shortly but since you are looking at our beautiful test kit let me just take the time to explain what the c and the pf up here means so the c means control and the pf means plasmodium falciparum our main troublemaker when it comes to malaria anyway so after conducting your test on your test kit and a test line or a band appears at the c it means your test is working perfectly well but if a test band or a line fails to appear at the C, it means your test is invalid. In the same way, when a test line or a band appears at the PF, it means your malaria test is positive or plasmodium falciparum causing malaria is present in your blood. Great. So like I said, the blood goes into the S well and then the buffer goes into the B well just so i don't forget some test kits actually have the blood and then the buffer going into the same wall so at best always follow the case instructions on where to put each of them as well as the number of drops of buffer and then blood to use because if you put too much blood or buffer it can really interfere with your results also when adding the buffer to the test always make sure you are using the right buffer for the test you are performing especially when you have multiple test kits and buffers around we don't want any mystery science experiments happening always read out the labels on the buffer to make sure you are using the right buffer for the test you are performing okay so i hope this clears up your questions now when it comes to the reading of results from positive to negative to invalid and then what it really means when your test line is very deep or very faint i'll be breaking that down in my next video so stay glued subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any updates i'll see you in the next one bye